welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported me thank you so 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 much okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this lovely crop top with this um, beautiful piece of 180 degrees kit that's what we are going to learn how to cut and sew today it is a very beautiful trendy top and then it is a beginner friendly tutorial also so if you are new to my channel you're welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button please subscribe it actually takes nothing and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram threads all at stylish niger and then hit on the bell or decide to get an update whenever i upload a new video Okay, now if you want to register for my online classes, you can just see my number scrolling through the screen. Send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details. Share this video, please. I would appreciate if you would do that. Support my channel by liking the video. Drop a comment. All right, let's get started. I'm just excited. This looks so beautiful. Okay. Okay, so this is the fabric I'm going to be making use of. This is four yards of fabric. So what I'm using four yards is because I'm going to be folding it, like I told you, with a 180-degree flake cut. So that is why I need so much with the half split. So that's why. So the measurements I'm going to be making is of the is the top is a crop top, just as you can see from the picture, and the length of the crop is going to be 19 inches. So I just need two measurements. The length, which is 19, and then the bust and the waist is 40. So these are like the two basic measurements, and then my shoulder measurement. Then for the skirt, also I need two basic measurements, the length and the waist. So for the skirt, the length that I need is 46, and then the waist is 31 inches. So this 31, I'm going to divide 31 into two. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. Because of the pleat, I'm going to add extra allowance to the waistline part so as i go along i'll explain so the next thing i want to do is i want to fold my fabric lay it on my table first and then i'll show you i'll explain it to you okay guys so you can see how i folded my fabric so i folded it at an angle so i'm going to use this point as my start up since it is a two-piece i want to cut out the skirt which is the bigger part first so I just made a straight line here. So this is going to be my waistline. And then the next thing from this length, I'm going to measure my skirt length. So the skirt, like I said, is 46. But because of the band, I'm going to cut out 44. I'll use 2 inches as my band. So I'm just going to mark this point like this. So I've marked, indicated that. So the next thing now, so the waist, my waist is 31. So I'll just add 1 inch to it to make it 32. So because I want to add pleats to this flay part, so normally if you are doing a waist of 32, and if you are cutting out two circles, it's a simple process. You just divide your waist measurement into, you divide your waist measurement into two. Okay, so normally I'm supposed to have eight inches here. You understand when I have eight inches here, because my fabric is folded into two, eight inches. When you open eight plus eight, that's 16. 16 plus 16, which is 32. That's 4. You understand? So I'm trying to explain this. Normally, if I was not adding any pleat to this kit, I would just place my tape here. My waist measurement, I'll divide it into 4. After dividing it into 4, because I'm going to cut out two pieces, this is the front piece. This is, and it's folded into 2, so that's automatically, this is 2. So I'll now divide it again into 2. You understand? Divide that half half of my waist into two again and then which is eight inches so i'll mark my eight inches here and then just add my allowance you understand so once i i open this i then cut another one you join them together you have your full waist measurement but because i want to add a little bit of pleats to this so this is my actual waist measurement which is eight i'm going to add depends on how much pleats i want to add so i'm going to add as much as four or five inches pleats to this Okay, so from this point now, we might make, mark my measurement of my waist. Like I said, I'm using 44. I'll add 2 inches as my allowance. So I'll just do this so you can see it properly. I'll add 2 inches 
So I'll mark it. I'm marking it round like this, so you can see it. So you can see the down part of my skirt. It is a simple process, so you can see how it is looking here. So that's this. That's that. It's a simple process, and then this part is going to flay out like this. So I'll use my ruler just connect it from that waist to that end. So for the down part, depends on how you fold your fabric. That is how you will determine how wide you want it to be. So for mine, let me just tell you the measurement that I have. So what I have here is 44. That's going to be for one part of the down. So you see that it's going to be very wide. Okay? Because it's folded in two, so I have 22. So I will cut this out right now. And then I'll use this to cut out the back piece. So for the back, I'm just going to add allowance because I'll add a zip to it. Just add a zip allowance to the back piece. So you can see what I have now. So this is for the front part. So I'll fold my fabric again and then I'll place this to cut out the back pieces. So I'll cut out the back piece now. Okay, so I finished cutting out my skirt. So this is it. I'll just fold it and keep it on the side. So the next one, I'm going to draft the top. So it is a very simple tutorial. You can see it's like a very beginner's tutorial. So I, I ruled one shoulder, one line here. So this line is my shoulder line. So the next thing we're going to rule now from this line. I'm going to mark my shoulder measurement, which is 14. You divide 14 into 2. I'm going to have 7. I'll just place the 7 mark here. And then from this 7, I'll just come out, add a stitching allowance of about 1 inch. So from that point, I'll just mark 1 inch downwards. And then I'll just float this into the shoulder line. So from this point now, I'm going to mark my arm hold measurement. So my arm hold is 8 inches which is 16, so I'll mark it here on this 8 inches and then I'll connect it with my ruler like this and then I'll just mark this and then the next thing I'm going to mark check what I have, I have 8 inches, so I'll mark 4 and then come out with about a quarter of an inch and then I'll connect this point like this to the down part of my pattern this way so that's my arm hold the next thing i'm going to mark is my bust line so for my bust line i'm going to be making use of 10 inches for my bust line so I'll, this is 10 inches and then i'm just going to connect it like this and then the next line i'm going to mark now is my waistline which is the half of my dress which is because it is a crop top so like i said it's 19 inches so 18 and then I'll add the extra allowance, which makes it 19. So I'll connect the 19 inches like that. So this is everything that I need. The next thing I'm going to add is my bust measurement. So like I said, I said I'm using 40. You divide 40 into 4. I'm not adding any that to this top. You have 10. I'll mark my 10 inches here. So I'm just going to add 2 inches allowance. So 1.5 is good. 1.5. So what I have here... I'm just going to repeat it at the down part of my top and then I will just extend this a little bit and then I will connect it this way so you can see it is a simple top it has bodies so I'll come to this neckline point I'm going to mark my at my neckline so I actually want the neckline to be high but it should, it should it should not be wide so i'll use three inches for the wideness i'll mark my three inches here and then from that three inches point i'm going to come down so you can actually measure your neckline just put it on your shoulder and then you measure so for this i have about three inches so i'll mark 2.5 so that after stitching it reduces to three inches so I'll connect this like this so this is for my neckline. So I'm going to use this pattern for both the back and the front. The only difference is I'm going to add a zipper allowance. When I'm cutting out the back, I'll just add a zip allowance of 1.5 inches to this. So I'll cut this out.
I'll place this on my fabric and then I will cut out right now. So I finished cutting. So for the skirt, like I said, I'm not adding a lining. But the top, I'm going to add a lining. So I finished cutting my lining. So I'm going to show you how to stitch this. It's a simple, very simple, simple process. So you stitch fabric and fabric together and then lining and lining together. So I'll take this back to my machine now. Oh, these are my seam. So I'll join my side seam together on this side and then this one on this side. You can do it that way or the other option, you can do it this way. You can join the shoulder You can join the shoulder, shoulder together like this. That's the front shoulder and then the back shoulder like this. Okay, join shoulder, shoulder together. After joining the shoulder and shoulder together, then it's going to be like this. Then you will not join the side seam together. So it's a simple process. So you do that both for the lining and for the fabric. So I'll do that and then come back and show you that's for the top. So, so for the skirt, the skirt is a simple, straightforward and process. So what I'm going to do for my skirt, I'll take it. This is the front part of my skirt now. I'm just going to do a tiny pleat on it, not a very big pleat. Just two pleats like this. Just two tiny kiss pleats. So literally what I'm trying to do, I'll just use the pleats to reduce the waist line, you understand, like this. So I'll use it to reduce my waistline to be 16. You know the waist I'm using is 32, so I'll just use it to reduce it. Once I pleat it and then I'll check it to make sure that I have about 16, so you can see now, to make sure that I have 16 inches here, that's all. And then I'll do the same thing to the back. So after doing that, I'll bring it back and show you. So after doing that, I'll bring it back. I repeated that. Okay, so for the skirt, so like I said, I'm just going to create the double pleat here. And then I'll secure this with my machine. So before I secure it, I'll check the other side also. So the other side also, I'll create the plates here on this side also. And then I'll check my measurement to make sure that I have my waist measurement plus my allowance before I secure it now. So, and then I'll check. So once I have my 16 inches, I'll secure it down. So I'm just trying to adjust it nicely. And then I would do the same thing to the back. So for this kind of pleat, you can actually add any type of pleat you want to. So I'll go ahead, I'll finish that up and then I'll join the side side of my skirt together. That's the back and the front together and then come back and show you. Okay, so for the front, you can see, so I finished stitching the front. This is the lining and then this is the actual fabric piece, okay? So I'll show you how we're going to join it now. Take this right side of my lining now. And then I'll flip it to the right side of my actual fabric piece also. You see, it is a very simple process. Mm -hmm. So this is an insane finishing. So literally what I'm going to do now, just make sure that my shoulders, they match. Everything matches. And then I will stitch everything all around. So you can actually wear it like this on it. And then make sure. Okay, so you can see how it is now. So I'll just stitch all around it like this, through the neckline to the side to the down, and then I'll take it to my mesh iron table, iron it properly, and then turn it. So that's it. I'll come back and show you all of my pieces. Okay, so you can see I finished stitching the skirt. So this is the pleats that I added. So the next thing, the only thing that is remaining is just for me to so it bands around my waistline so i've already cut out the fabric that i'm going to use so 
what I use for my band is just a normal straight band. So I'm not cutting it open. I'm just going to use it to pipe, like pipe the waist. So I have about three and a half inches here. So I'll just use it to pipe, pipe the waist around before I'll fix the zip on it. So I'll do that and then come back and show you how to cut out the sleeves for the top. Okay, so you can see the top. So I finish, I finish everything for the crop top. I ironed it down. So you can see how it is looking. Looks good and okay. So the next thing I want to do now, before I add the zip, I'm going to sew my sleeve. So for the sleeve, I'm just going to cut a simple basic sleeve. So I have my fabric folded into four. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to this point like this. So I'll just use my free hand to do this. I'll come down by five inches and then from this five inches I'm just going to make a simple curve like this just curve that five inches to the top and then I'm going to measure it to make sure that I have my round sleeve measurement so I have enough so my round sleeve is about 10 inches so I have extra two inches so after that I'm going to come to this point I'll measure the length of my of the sleeve so i want the sleeve to be about eight inches so i'll mark it 10 why i'm marking it 10 i'm going to use the other two inches to fold my sleeve so that's why i'm doing that so i'm going to cut this cut right now and then this point depends on how wide i want the down part of my sleeve to be so for the down part i want it to be like 16. so i'll mark it divide into two and then I'll curve, just curve this into this point so you can see how to cut your sleeve easily. So for this sleeve, I'm not going to turn it with my lining. I'm just going to secure it down like that. Okay, so I'll take this back to my ironing table now and then I'll just iron this down and then I will give it a good stitch okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our two piece looks like for our 180 degree skirt and the crop top so you see it came out really fine so if you find this video helpful please I would appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed already you should please subscribe to my channel thank you so much share this video with your friends and your loved ones i will see you in my next video bye bye it came out really fine i love the outcome